stand that day in 1980. He survived uh, standing on the reviewing stand when, uh, when Anwar Sadar was assassinated. Absolutely, and I think there is, of course, the rumor has always, in a way, trailed him that the assassin, the lead assassin, told him to get out of the way. I want to get this dog, he said, about President Sadat. He got out of the way. He survived. He had every chance to bond with his people. The bond between Hosni Mubarak and the Egyptian people has been severed. The bond between his wife and the Egyptian people has been severed. Between his son and the Egyptian people has been severed. I don't know if he can come back from this. You think, he, you think this might be the end of him? I think, look, Hosni Mubarak, I mean, I listened to the speech, and I want to tell you something. As someone who, whose language, native language, is Arabic, I was listening for the cadence of the man, for the seriousness of the man. He's a very uninspiring speaker. The crowd wants him. So what he did is he threw overboard to them. He offered them the prime minister. The prime minister means nothing. It's really about the regime. To offer up his cabinet means nothing. I mean, Hosni Mubarak is the power in Egypt and has been for